Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you a technique which I uh, uh, kind of came up with uh, in the last two weeks. I'm, I'm uh, practicing this technique and I really love this technique and I do believe it can make amazing projects, amazing backgrounds, cards, inserts, tags, very beautiful and uh, if you will feel after your stamping and embossing, if you will feel the background and you will see that these stamped images are not embossed, but everything around is embossed. That's quite amazing. And I really think that this is awesome technique. It does have uh, quite lots of work at, right from the start, but you do few things right from the start, but then... You have it done forever. <laughs> so, come to have a look how I have created these awesome images. And I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. For creating stamping in your embossing effect, first you will need to create masks of your stamps. I'm going to do today all masks for this uh, stamping collection or stamp collection from Tim Holtz. This is Eccentrics. And... Uh, for making my masks or templates, little templates, I'm gonna be using this backside of old uh, paper pad because it's nice and thick. So I don't need to glue so many layers together. If you don't have chipboard like this, use some old cardstock and stamp uh, the image on your old cardstock and then make few layers of that cardstock and always fussy it out around so you will make a thicker, thicker layer. Like here with this, I did stamped once. I did use the one old envelope, craft envelope from that brown craft paper. And then I glued, I did fussy cut out my stamping. Then I glue, glue it back on that envelope and did fussy cut out again. I do have two layers of same cardstock here. But I would like to make it easy for myself. That's why I'm using a thicker chipboard today. I do have a few stamps here stamped on that uh, thicker chipboard. I also stamped full stamp here on the back side of the cover. I can fussy cut out each of these and I will have, you know, nice beautiful uh, labels. And I will have also templates if I would like to do collage, uh, stamped collage. So now I'm going to fussy cut out each of these stamps. I do have prepared uh, my masks or stencils templates whatever i will say it in that thicker chipboard and also kind of like normal cardboard so they are much more thinner uh, i do have my embossing folder i do have stamps prepared here and here is a bunch of uh, envelopes and folders and small envelopes and this cute uh, specimen window i used tim holtz dies to cut all of this stuff out from my collage papers and i used tim holtz dies just because this is tim holtz uh, stamps so i was like oh okay i'm gonna <laughs> use it all together first uh, i'm gonna do some stamping and then we will do some embossing so i'm gonna take this envelope and choose some stamping and i do have these so uh, this will also help me to see how I can stamp my stamps, you know, to plan what I would like to have, where I would like to have it. Then I can stamp it and then I can emboss the way I want. So I'm going to plan a little bit my stamping and layering of these stamps. I did my little planning here and now uh, I would like to stamp it. And here you can see that have these templates it's perfect for planning also stamping uh, once you stamp the image you are using these templates to cover that image and stamp next image so here uh, i can see how in the end i would like to have that stamping which means the full image is the first you are stamping and will be uh, in the full size that's this one then i do have these two images this one and this one, these two images are going over that first one. And I'm going to be using these templates also cover my stamping. So to have these little templates or mask or stencils, it's perfect for this type of collaging. 
and it helps so much to planning your collaging and collage stamping and do your layers. No, oh, this one. This is stamp. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I think, somewhere here. Yeah. So first I'm gonna stamp the number five. Like this. Now I'm gonna use my template from the simple cardstock, that thin one. And I'm gonna place it over that number five. And I can get up hand stamp and this posty stamp and stamp this over the number five. First, I'm gonna go with this uh, long strip. I'm gonna flip it this way. And I'm gonna do stamping over the number five. here and I'm gonna take the hand stamp I can put this over this one just to make sure I will don't mess up that stamping and I'm gonna go with the hand stamp over these layers Now I'm gonna uncover all of these and we do have perfect collage stamped. Now I can take my oh now I can take my embossing folder, place my embossing folder around the image the way I want it. So I wanted to have embossing from this fold. This is I'm gonna pre-fold the envelope. The way it would be so it will be like this this one will be over it so i would like to have this these stripes from this edge this one i would like to have flat as it is and that rest would be embossed and i would like to have uh, this uh, kind of like broken uh, of the pattern coming with the finger here which means I'm gonna go this way like this now I can emboss it and I know I do have so many uh, new newbies in junk journal uh, craft uh, here on my channel so for those who don't know how to work with this machine I do have a video with uh, how to emboss and I do explain a lot about this uh, embossing machine so I will link it down below go to have a look so now I do have embossed and stamped image but I do have embossing uh, effect around all of these images so right now it's coming time for my thicker templates and this is really very easy it is uh, kind of a repeating few steps but it's really easy once you do have your templates, which you can use on and on and on, uh, over and over again. So once you do have your templates, you are pretty much settled with everything you need. So I do have these, my templates. This is from that thicker material. And I forgot to say, I also cut it from same material, these little strips. I will place them around my envelope just to make sure that they will level this top plate so it will don't uh, push down my embossing effect where I don't want to, you know, uh, push it down. So now I can start with this and deboss it just to place my template on the image, place this one over. these three leveling uh, strips around and we are going to deboss if you don't feel pressure here just change the uh, plates i do have here this emboss embossing plate so i'm gonna change it for cutting plate 
So this is my cutting plate. It's usually is with this greenery uh, background with explanation all of that about uh, die cutting. But you know, mine is very much used, so I do have it all white. And I'm gonna go back, and if I will feel that it's yeah, it does make pressure. So I still have an uh, embossed effect here and here, but it did flatten that number five quite a lot. I can go one more time and I can put a little bit more over that number five. So here I'm going to place also that second one, that thin one. And I'm going to go one more time through to my embossing machine. Okay. So I still have nice and embossed effect all around. And number five is getting really flat. And it's not uh, that much embossed like before. And I'm going to do same with other images as well. So here. And here I'm going to place my templates. I'm going to put these strips around. And run it through to my machine. And I think my hand a little bit moved. <laughs> As you can see, it did move a little bit. But the rest is nice and flattened. So I do have the stamping in the flat areas. And I do have that embossing all around. Now I can take a distress ink. And as I have started with Tim Holtz, I'm going to continue. I do have here vintage photo from Ranger, uh, Tim Holtz. And I'm going to be using that for distressing all this piece. I think I'm going to take my distress ink and go very light hand all around. And with that distress ink, I'm going to pop up all these embossed embossed areas and as you can see uh, I am distressing with that color everything embossed but my stamping uh, stays clear without those lines and without those, those dots that's because we did flatten them down again after embossing them you know so now I can put my envelope all together so first I have fixed uh, circles using uh, brands and now I am able to glue it all together so first I'm gonna glue the sides so I did glue the sides and this bottom I'm gonna add their string and I do have my first little envelope with embossed around the stamping down i'm gonna continue with my file folders and do kind of similar thing this file folder is going this way and i would like to have the part that top part this top part embossed but then uh, i mean embossed with those stripes and in that, or under that embossing effect, I would like to have maybe some of these. So first again, we'll be planning uh, what I would like to see from that stamping. How I would like to see it. So I can use my templates to make a planning done and create my little, you know, little stamping uh, collaging so here 
the hand will be stamped just like that. Here I can see fully that uh, that number three. So I know first I'm going to be stamping number three. Then over that, I'm going to place this template and stamp the strip. And under that strip, I will stamp the hand. That's easy stamping. I do have number three stamped. I'm going to place over that number three my little template from that thin material, not from that heavy cardstock. And over that, I'm going to stamp this strip. Like this. Now I can take hand and stamp the hand here underneath. like this. I'm gonna keep my templates here. Now I can take my embossing folder put my embossing folder the way I would like to see it and maybe here actually no, no, no right over it this way So I'm going to emboss my little file folder this way. I do have my embossing done uh, through to all these images. And now, same like before, I'm going to take my templates from the thicker material. And here, I don't need to do it here in this strip, I guess. That's pretty much flattened by uh, the embossing folder. But I'm going to do it here, where is number three. And on the hand and again I'm gonna take my leveling strips here which will help me to keep that the rest of the embossing uh, on the right shape in the good shape here here and maybe I can place those thin ones on the top just to make sure there will be a little bit more pressure than on other sides or other places and embossed or debossed right now And we can have a look so I still have embossed effect around and as you can see the hand is without those dots the number three it's without those stripes so now I can take uh, distress ink and same like before I'm gonna be using a uh, vintage photo distress ink and I'm gonna add distress ink all around And show the distressed uh, areas and as you can see the number T and hand they are staying untouched by distress ink which is perfect actually and that is that the debossing or embossing around the stamping uh, stamped image I'm gonna do all these and I will show you how it can looks like and here is a few of my creations with that embossed effect around the stamping. I really love how they did turns out. Uh, it looks amazing, I have to say, especially with those Tim Holtz stamps and this chandelier embossing folder. It's just amazing. And these dots around the stamping, they do look so good. So this is the technique. I've been trying for the last few days to, you know, to make it better, look better. Look at that. It's really gorgeous. And it does look amazing with embossed effect around the stamping. Uh, so this is my a little creation. I added some a uh, few little things. I did sewn this pocket into that file folder. I saw that long time ago. I think when uh, this uh, 
collection were, was released, I saw it on Tim Holtz, you know, um, that showcase uh, with those stamps and dice. So there was a file folder like this, I do remember that, with sewn uh, this pocket inside. And I really like that. And the other one I made with those two little frames. Because I really think it's a great idea and it looks amazing. I did use my background papers, which I do have for... Uh, for my collection, Dada style collection, Dadaism style collection, which I'm <laughs> now working. And these are actually stamped images we created with my Patreons. It was lots of fun, I have to say. I'm trying, you know, uh, to use my stamps more and more. And we did create it kind of like uh, collaging with the stamps. And I have to say that... Uh, this collaging with stamps and stencils, it's amazing. It does look amazing. Those frames you can see here, they are from uh, Planner Stencils. I found on Amazon beautiful collection of slim stencils. They are sold out now <laughs> because I think my Patreons just run out that that website. So I'm not going to even share the link because <laughs> it's sold out. <laughs> So my Patreons went there. I'm happy to help. <laughs> so this is my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you will try uh, this kind of like stamp collaging and then embossing and debossing. So have a fun guys. Pull out your stamps and have a fun. And remember, you just, uh, it is lots of work right from the start. You need to create those templates, but you are creating them just for once. And then you can use them on and on and on. Uh, as you can see, I did use them like a lot today. Pretty much same uh, images. And I did use them on and on all the time. And they are still working really well. They are deboss debossing uh, all these images. And I really love how it looks. I'm so happy I can distress embossed effect and it doesn't go to my stamp image, you know. So that, that's what I like on that. So that's my sharing for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, uh, please give it, give it thumbs up and share it with your friends. That will help to my channel to grow a little bit as it got stuck lately. So uh, share that with your friends. Maybe they will like it too. Uh, have a wonderful time. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.